What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Investing with Podkill. Today I'll be doing a quick video for you guys revolving cryptocurrency. More specifically, I want to do a crypto positive video. Lots of drama out there. We know cryptocurrency has been red the past couple of days and it just keeps on dipping. Today, this video is just to show more positivity in the crypto space. Hopefully we can all get along, but before we get this video started, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the like button. I upload issues like this almost every single day involving the crypto, financial, and anything that will make us financially free in the future. We'll discuss about it in this channel. So if you might be interested, hit the follow and let's get this video started. All right, guys, we are in coin market cap. We're looking at the global crypto market cap currently, we are at a 1.74 trillion, decreased about a six point uh, three point six two percent for the past day. Bitcoin broke underneath forty thousand, currently trading right at thirty eight thousand three hundred. Currently down about four percent for the past day and almost ten percent for the past week. Ethereum, another one, has fallen underneath the twenty seven hundred mark. Currently trading right at 26.36, currently down almost 4.5% for the past day and almost 9% for the past week. I know lots of red for obvious reasons, lots of things going around in the world. Uh, more specifically, let's jump into uh, Google, just to type in Russia, Ukraine, I already have it on. We can see about an hour ago, Ukraine, Russia plans biggest war in Europe since 1945's Boris John Johnson. So every single day, more and more uh fud headlines well i don't know if i should call it fud but more bad news headlines are appearing um in the world um you know this is nothing nothing good for crypto uh for the crypto world financial world anything honestly we don't want no war and this is why we're seeing more and more sell-off in uh, bitcoin ethereum plus all the other altcoins so you might be in any project for example i talk lots about evergrow uh, mainly, I, I think I talk more about Evergrow than any other crypto. Um, if you don't know, I do invest in Evergrow coin. I talk about Evergrow coin. No, I do not get paid by Evergrow coin. I've never have been, I've never been paid by any project out there to cover any coin. Um, even though I don't really cover that many coins, if I do, it's either because one of my subscribers asked down in the comment section if I could go and look up a certain crypto, and if I like it, I'll make a video and I give my honest opinion. I'm not saying people out there that cover cryptos that get paid for crypto reviews. I'm not saying they're they're in the wrong or anything. I know they're out there trying to make their money. Um, honestly, all we really need is if anyone covers any crypto out there that is getting paid by a certain project, either by getting whitelisted or just getting paid, let's say uh, Binance or whatever, um, would be you know a good idea to disclose, and that way people know ahead of time that that is a paid video. But like I said, there's nothing wrong. If you are out there making videos or getting paid and you're disclosing, that's good for you. Uh, I'm honest, honestly really happy that you are making your money. But going back to being crypto positive, there's been lots of drama <laughs> the past couple of days on Twitter. I'm not gonna get in details on any of this drama. If you know, you know, especially if you are on Twitter, I'm not gonna call out anyone. I'm not gonna name any names. I'm not gonna go into any specific, but honestly, with cryptocurrency market being down lots of bad headlines coming out day by day about the war <clears throat> about a breakout um and even with inflation in the united states the last thing we need is more drama in the cryptocurrency space we don't need people out there bashing other cryptos and i know i've had in the past mistakes where i kind of jumped the gun um talked too soon about something i that was kind of iffy uh, regarding Wi-Fi, well, that's for a whole other video. But you know, I came out and apologized. But like I said, people do make mistakes. People, there's no one out there that's perfect. And like I said, all we really need in this crypto space is to be more positive. Doesn't matter what crypto you're investing. You could be investing in Evergrow Coin. You could be investing in Wi-Fi Finance. You could be investing in um, <clears throat> RMTX. We could be investing in a Reflex Finance Token. Um, doesn't matter what token you're really um, getting investing in. If you're, if you're in it to make the money, that's all that matters, uh, especially if you're believing in the team. 
Um, I'm just tired of seeing every single day I pull up Twitter and all I see is just drama after drama after drama. It's like I understand um, maybe there's some stuff that was said to a certain individual that he didn't <clears throat> find um, that good for his personality or his channel or anything. But you got to kind of imagine it doesn't always have to revolve on yourself. Don't just think that you're the only person in a crypto project. Don't make it, everything seem it's involving about you. I mean, if the shoe fits, then that's on you. But all we really need is more crypto positivity out there. Um, doesn't mean you have to agree with everything I say or disagree or anything. Everyone is out here with their own opinion. And honestly, that's all that really matters. Um, like I said, we're in a crypto world. Yes, there's lots of tokens out there. We know Evergrowth Coin, there's Reflex, there's tons and tons of reflection tokens out there that are almost exactly identical, even when it comes down to the text. Like, all this doesn't really prove much. It's just more than anything. It's like, oh my God, I was the first one. No, I was the first one. I was the first one. And honestly, I'm tired of that. And all you really need to do for your own due diligence is look into the team look at what they can accomplish look at what they have accomplished in a short period amount of time and just go from there and don't let drama after drama encourage you with any decision that you're in especially if you're in the middle debating if you sell if you should sell ever grow coin honestly i can't tell you what you can and cannot do revolving selling buying cryptocurrency by my opinion I wouldn't sell any crypto right now, especially if you're holding long term. Why would you want to sell at these low at these low lows on the crypto world? More than anything, I'm loading up my bags. I've done my due diligence. And I hope you guys have also done your due diligence. And that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoy. Comment down below. Um, just comment down below, crypto positive. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you all next time. Peace.